It's been a long, long time, old friend. But finally, we're doing it again. Hello everybody and we are here with an Alex Ellis hand dryer video for the first time in about 10 years. I'm finally bringing it back. So a while ago I was talking to a friend of mine on Instagram. He runs the YouTube channel NZ Hand Dryers which you may be familiar with. Because uh, even ever since I stopped making the original videos about a decade ago I've still kind of maintained an interest in the background. I've just not been pursuing it uh, in the same way that I've been pursuing um, my other interests. But after, you know, like with a lot of things, you know, you get talking to people and you find someone with a common interest and it really starts to pique that interest again. And so I've started to get back into it. Now, I started filming some video clips when I was over in the UK and initially I was just... Um, recording these to send to NZ hand dryers, just you know, as just as general back and forth chats. I wasn't planning on making a video out of it, but after a while, I kind of started to realise that yeah, actually, I could make a YouTube video out of this. So that's what I'm doing. Now, my original plan was to interlace each of the clips I shot with clips of me talking about them and telling you, you know, what models they are and how good they are. Problem is, if I do that, then this video is going to be ridiculously long. So I'm not going to do that. Um, instead, I'm just going to play you all of the clips that I have shot from my UK trip. So there's not really going to be any reviewing going on in this video um, compared to other stuff that I've done previously or what I might do in the future because... A lot of this was just off the cuff. I mean, a lot of the clips I'm not even talking in them and some of them are just a few seconds. But I think it's definitely going to be worthwhile looking at because there are a lot of hand dryers in here which I think my New Zealand-based audience will enjoy because there's a lot of models here that we don't have in NZ or are really rare over here. Um, whereas, you know, and I know, and those are the ones that I specifically focused on. You know, I was trying to film the stuff that was not so familiar to me. So I didn't really bother with Air Forces or Dysons, things like that, because we have an abundance um, of, you know, Air Forces and Dysons over here. Although there is one Dyson in this video that I've not seen here as of yet. Anyway, I'm blabbering way too much. So let's get on with the video. Fucking hell, that top. That is terrible and very hot. Yeah, unfortunately, I have encountered one of these before. This is shite. It's hot, but it's shite.
that's not sounding too healthy anymore, is it? But it is a pretty old dryer, so I'm just amazed that this is still here. Of course, the coolest thing you can do one of these, flip the nozzle round. And blow it straight up my nose. Blow dry my face with it. Let's give this a go, shall we? It's pretty nice, actually. See if this is any better than the other one. That's more like it. Okay, another one of these things with a branding label on it this time. Yep, pretty much the same as all the other ones of these I've used version of the air dry quattro with the flip down nozzle nice so this is the original version with the old flip down nozzle thing so nice to find one Come on, you can do better than that. Come on. I've not had this problem on an air dry before, so maybe just this one's got a slightly dodgy sensor. Because the others I've used have all been okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's just a standard warm air hand dryer. Nothing really particularly special about it. Not really that much different from the quartz, really, from what I can tell. Oh, stop. Probably about as good as maybe a Supreme BA101 or an Arbridge. It's that sort of dryer.
Really noisy and really powerful. Need to keep my hands under there for longer though. And this toilet is disgusting. Not too bad, I've seen better, I've seen worse. This is literally just another Air Fury in a different case. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one. really nice okay I'm just talking over the music so we have here a couple of Vela Pebble minis so these are smaller than the normal Vela Pebble so let's see how this compares to the normal version <laughs> mm. that's not bad actually <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, I quite like the normal Velair Pebble. This is the first time I've seen the minis. These are pretty good as well. Those look interesting. Oh, for fuck's sake. Once it actually gets to full power, it's pretty powerful, and it's not that loud either. But it hardly ever gets to full power because it keeps cutting out because the sensor's no good. Okay, so this is called a dolphin. We've got a sort of like a miniature blade type setup in here. Dolphin BC200. 8W is nice very very nice very simple just a very boxy square shape but i tell you what that does a pretty dumb nice job those are supposed to be like an alternative to the dyson v <laughs> dyson v is way better than this thing so we have another hand dryer here that's got a, a blade sort of set up underneath. So let's see how this goes. I'll not stand up. Oh, come on. Power-wise, that's pretty decent power-wise. It just needs a better sensor so that it doesn't keep cutting out. Otherwise, not too bad. 
Okay, you've never come across this model before. The World Dry Slim Dry. Wait for the tap to stop. And we'll see what this does. I'm going to go into this one having not already set it off, so... Holy moly, that is loud. So it's got underneath here, again, sort of like a blade sort of thing. So it's going on for, the, on for that blade side type um, dryer. The only thing is though, it's not wide enough to do both hands at the same time. So whereas the Dyson V, which is the sort of dryer I would normally compare this to, and some of the other blade type dryers I've seen, you can do both hands at the same time. And for the amount of noise it makes, it's nowhere near as powerful as a Dyson V either. So it's still pretty nice, but I think there are better dryers in this category out there. This has got a, a blade type setup, so it's a bit like an Airblade V, but a flat blade, so it's pretty good. I like it. This is really good. I like this. Okay, I've managed to come into one of the disabled units so I can get it to myself. Dyson 9KJ. <laughs> sounds nice the only thing I will say some of the ones I used in the men's room had pretty poor sensors on them the sensors that actually detect your hands are not as good on these as they are on the Airblade V but otherwise these are really good Quiet. The sensor's not very good on that one. Try this one. Oh, that's better. That's not particularly strong. It's alright. And it 
doesn't automatically cut out, which is pretty good as well. I'm not sure what that 26 is supposed to represent. It's all right. A different sort of Mitsubishi. I never find Mitsubishi's to actually be that powerful. Okay, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed that. This is not just a one-off. I am planning some more stuff for the future. In the meantime, though, if you would like to see some more New Zealand-based hand dryer content, there are a couple of things that you can do. You can watch my my buddy NZ Hand Dryer's videos. He has got a whole heap of hand dryer videos uh, from right here in NZ. And you can also go over to the fandom site, which the two of us um, co-author together, uh, which is the NZ Hand Dryers Wiki. Uh, you can look at our most common hand dryers page, which gives you an in-depth guide to all of the various different uh, makes and models that we have over here. Or you can take our hand dryer grand tour and you can browse by a specific location and you can go on there and you can uh, have a breakdown of various locations and what hand dryers they've, uh, they have now and what they might have had previously. So definitely something to go and have a look at if you are interested. Otherwise, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.